If you want maps, data, and reports regarding soils, the place to go is NRCS's Web Soil Survey. To start using the Web Soil Survey, simply go to the website shown here and then click Start WSS. From here, uh, the uh, browser-based mapping application will open and the first thing that you're going to have to do is to create your area of interest or your AOI. There are a number of different ways in which we can do this. We can import our AOI by using a zipped shape file. So perhaps you have a, a property that you're looking at for creating uh, soils for, you can just zip that uh, shape file up and, and bring it in. You can also use the various methods shown here. Uh, you can just put in an address, uh, latitude, longitude, and, and so on. My favorite way of doing it is drawing my own uh, area of interest and we have two different area of interest tools on our toolbar. We have uh, just drawing a rectangular area of interest or a polygon that uh, change has lots of flexibility in the shape that we use. So this is what I'm going to use to establish our um, uh, uh, area of interest. So what I would do is grab my zoom in tool and zoom into the area where I want to uh, create my area of interest. And I'm just going to zoom in on a random location in uh, Lebanon County. And once it zooms in, I can grab my AOI tool and simply draw a polygon around the area uh, that I want to have soil uh, data for. So I'm going to draw it around this area here. I'm just going to draw a polygon of sorts. And then it will say creating AOI. Once your AOI is created, it will zoom in on it, and over here on the left-hand side, uh, it will give you the opportunity to name your uh, site. Uh, so uh, if, you if there's a proper name for it, you might want to use that. Or if you have multiple sites that you're doing this, uh, looking at alternatives, you might call it Site A, Site B, uh, whatever. I'm just going to call it Test Site. And note that it actually gives you the number of acres in uh, what you are uh, looking at. So now that we have established the uh, area of interest, what we can do is use these tabs up here to further explore the, the data that we have available. One of the most common things that is wanted with uh, soils information is a soils map. So if we click on the soils map tab, uh, it will take us to a, a very basic soils map of the property. You'll note that the soil type is uh, uh, labeled in each of the uh, areas. And if you click over here, um, you can see uh, the uh, map unit symbol, uh, the, the, the name for it, how many acres are in that uh, particular um, soil type in the AOI, and that what that percentage is. If you want to learn more about any of these and what they mean, you can simply click on them, and it will uh, uh, open up a uh, very a quick report that tells you about the, those particular mapping uh, units. If you want a printable version of this, you simply click on printable uh, version, it allows you to put a custom subtitle or just keep the, the uh, name of, of the uh, site and then you click view and it will create a PDF that you can download um, uh, to include in a particular report. Uh, so that is a way of getting information about the, the various mapping units. If you want a uh, soils map of this, we would click on the printable version option and again just answer the questions that are um, posed to you and then just hit view and it will create a printable version of your uh, soils map.
And we see that shown here where uh, we have the map, we have a um, uh, graticule uh, uh, or grid around uh, it so we can uh, delineate a location. It has a scale bar, north arrow, and so forth. Uh, it has a legend. And then it gives you uh, the information about uh, each of the soil uh, types uh, and the number of acres in that particular um, um, a soil type. So this is a really great uh, map uh, uh, that you can render very quickly without having to design it uh, yourself. So moving on to the next tab, the Soil Data Explorer. This allows you to learn about uh, the soils on the property in a number of different ways. If you're new to soils, uh, you might want to click on the Intro to Soils tab first to learn a little bit about soils and what this data set includes. So it's a really good uh, description of what you're about to uh, look at. If you click on the suitabilities and limitations for use, this will describe the suitabilities and limitations for each of the soil types in these uh, categories. And you can open them all so you can see what you know uh, um, is underneath each. And if you want to learn any, uh, anything about any one of them, just click on it and you can click view rating or view uh, d description. And you can see what gets generated uh, with that. And then if we click on view description, you can see what gets um, uh, opened with that. It really just tells you what the, the particular parameter means. Uh, just because some of these may not be intuitive to all of us, especially if we're not used to working with soils. So you have that uh, suitabilities and limitations tab. You also have the soil properties and qualities uh, tab. And again, you can open them all. And if you want to uh, uh, view any one of them, you just click on it and it will tell you about that a particular um, uh, criteria. You also have an ecological site assessment. However, notice that it's not um, available in, for this particular map, and that's because no rangeland or forest land uh, is available for this uh, specified uh, or, um, uh, AOI that we have. And then finally, we have the soil reports option. This allows us to generate soil reports based on all of these criteria that, that you see here. So uh, for anyone that needs really detailed data about the, the soils on a property, the Web Soil Survey is a really great place to go to find out information about all of those different qualities. After the uh, Soil Data Explorer, the, there's an option uh, available to download soils data. And you can download the soils data for your particular area of interest only, or like it says here, you can also download it uh, for the entire uh, state, or, or, or sorry, uh, the entire county um, that your uh, area of interest is in. And my suggestion would be to download the it by the county level, just because you'll have it for uh, any future projects that are in that particular county. So you simply just click on uh, the uh, download link, and that will uh, allow you to download soils data for uh, the, the county. And that is in a, a shape file uh, format. So that's just a little bit of an overview of the Web uh, Soil Survey. Again, a great place to, to go if you have really detailed needs uh, to, uh, for uh, learning about soils on a particular property.